Have you ever wondered who would win in a fight? A warrior beast among demons, the Hell Knight, or an extremely aggressive female Loke's drone who are the Loke's berserkers? So I'm your host Abs and just before we start this video, if you could do me a favour and drop a like on the video if you want to see more crossover lore content and subscribe if you enjoy the video. But let's dive straight into it. So first up we've got the Hell Knight. So the Hell Knight is a warrior beast among demons and has earned its place over the millennia in service of the eternal archdemons. As imposed by the Sovereign Houses, the Hell Knights have long served as barbaric enforcers of the Netherworld, impelling lesser demons by way of brutality. Rare among demon kind for its innate regard from primal orders of hierarchy, the Hell Knight exhibits adherence to the prevailing rule of its demon lord masters. Requiring little compulsion on behalf of its highborn masters, Hell Knights readily serve the Elder Hell Gods for the extent of their lifespans reaping great satisfaction in the way of war and desecration. So just to clarify, I'm referring to the Hell Knights from Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, not the Dread Knights or the Barons of Hell. So the Hell Knight charges towards the player and slams into them with powerful punches and ground slam attacks. The Hell Knight is capable of shrugging off damage from most weapons unflinchingly, charging through them to reach the player as quickly as possible. Now this serves as both a blessing and a curse, as they will not dodge out of the way of the Slayer's fire, but also requires significant punish to prevent them from reaching the player and dealing devastating amounts of damage. Keeping the Hell Knight at an arm's reach is the best way to deal with it, as it is one of the few demons in the game that completely lacks a ranged attack. Of course this means it needs to get up close to deal damage. So the best way to take down the Hell Knight is with fully automatic gunfire, which increases the Hell Knight's chance of being faltered, temporarily halting its charge. Now the best weapon for the job to kill a Hell Knight is the Chain Gun as it is capable of tearing the Hell Knight to shreds in seconds and it is by far the best weapon to use against them, almost guaranteed to prevent it from reaching the player with its high falter chance bullets. So then enters the Locust Berserker. <laughs> Now, Berserkers are female Loke's drones. They're blind, but they're powerful. Berserkers were known for their highly developed sense of hearing and smell, compensating for their blindness. And they had extremely durable bodies and being in a near constant state of extremely aggressive behavior. Now, even though the Loke's Berserkers are blind, they use their sense of smell and hearing to find their targets. Berserkers can be killed once their extremely tough skin is heated or set ablaze, softening it and allowing significantly more damage to be done to them. They're also fast enough to catch a speeding train, which is crazy. Berserkers also have bullet resistant armour, they are extremely fast and extremely strong. The Berserkers use their fists and mass as weapons, so imagine getting hit by a train. Yeah, so that's what it's like if a Berserker charges its way through you. Now as the Berserkers have bullet resistant armour, they are very difficult to kill and are extremely durable. This is why it takes a Hammer of Dawn strike on many occasions to kill a Berserker, which goes to show how durable they really are. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! So as you can imagine, this would be a really interesting matchup, as both of these beasts are similar in many ways. I know the demons in Doom generally would be a lot stronger than the Locust in Gears, because they're in Hell, and the planet Sarah in Gears is slightly similar to Earth, but the Berserker should never be underestimated. Both gigantic creatures are around 10 feet tall on average. The Hell Knight is deemed as 1,000 pounds of pissed off meat trying to curb stomp you, and I'd assume the Berserker is of similar weight, or to be honest it probably weighs more as the Berserker has a more muscular physique and has bullet resistant armour, so it's likely to weigh a lot more. This fight would be a straight up fist fight, close combat and in your face. The Hell Knight would have an advantage since the Berserker cannot actually see as the Berserkers are blind. So the Hell Knight could get the jump on the Berserker early on, but the Berserker's sense of smell and hearing will allow it to easily depict where the Hell Knight is. And of course the Hell Knight would be stomping around, so the Berserker wouldn't have any problems locating the Hell Knight's exact whereabouts. The Berserker would rely on its mass and fists, whereas the Hell Knight would go for uppercut punches, lunge attacks and ground and pounds. 
so I'd say the Hell Knight would have better close quarters combat, but the Berserker would be too damn durable for the Hell Knight in my opinion. As like I said, the Berserkers have bullet resistant armour and the Hell Knights don't have armour, and the Hell Knights can be damaged pretty easily by small arms fire, so the Berserker could withstand attacks from the Hell Knight, but the Hell Knight would be in big big trouble from receiving attacks from the Berserker. Also Berserkers are scarily fast, so if a Berserker used its mass against the Hell Knight at a blistering speed, then I gotta say, it's a wrap for the Hell Knight. For me, I'd say the Berserkers would be more likely to win this fight due to its mass, speed and durability, but since the Berserker is blind and the Hell Knight has more combat attacks up its sleeve, it could always end in the Hell Knight's favour as well. One thing is for sure though, is that both of these monsters are extremely aggressive, so I don't think this fight would last very long. It would be a quick, bloody fight to the death. But who do you think would win it in a fight? The Locust Berserkers or the Hell Knights? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to drop a like on the video and let me know what you think of my first crossover lore video. Be sure to subscribe for more lore related content and I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you next time.